Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. Thank you so much for joining me. And in this episode, we will be making a DIY paracord mask lanyard. These are great for when you have to momentarily take off your mask instead of having to find somewhere clean to hang it or put it away. You can just let it hang from your neck. It's a small change, but it's a convenient improvement. I'm going to be showing you two ways, one that you can clip on and off and one that you can tie on and off if you don't want to buy any clips. Also, before we get started though, I just need a few seconds of your time to ask for your help if possible. One of our fellow weavers, Kamal, who is a disabled veteran, is in need of a wheelchair. He's a longtime supporter of the channel, and he explained to me that he had previously gotten a wheelchair from the VA's office, but it wasn't very good and the front wheel had broken off. So his friend has started a GoFundMe page for him, and I just wanted to let you all know that we have a fellow weaver in need, and if you can spare any funds, any and all donations would be greatly appreciated on his behalf. I'll have a link down to his GoFundMe page, and if you could all check that out, I thank you for even considering. That being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials for the simple version, you'll just need a piece of paracord, but for the clip-on version, you'll also need some sort of clips, and I'm using curtain clips. I'm sure you can find something better, but this is what I found, and I'm also positive that you can get these at most stores. Starting off with the simple version, I've got my paracord, and I'm going to take the running end and bend it around one of the elastic cords of my mask. Then I'm going to wrap it twice around the bend I just formed so that my cords kind of form an X. And I'm then going to pass the running end under those loops to form a scaffold knot. From there, cinch up the knot so that it's tight and then pull the loop closed. So with that first side finished, just move over to the other ear loop side and then repeat the process for the simple lanyard version. And here I'm using some hemostats to complete the knot so you can better see what I'm doing with that running end. What I like about using this knot for this lanyard is that it's pretty easy to untie and you can also adjust the length of the lanyard slightly by increasing or decreasing the size of the loops. Next up for our clip-on version, I'm using these curtain clips I got on Amazon, and I'm sure you can find these cheaper in a dollar store or Walmart, but they might come attached to a ring. So what I'm gonna do is remove the clip from the ring by simply bending open the wire hook. I'm just using my knotter's tool to bend it open and remove that ring. Then I'm going to use my Leatherman pliers to pinch them back closed. This time I'm actually going to make a slightly fancier version using some 95 cord and I'm going to put a bend in it like before. And with my gold 95 cord I'm going to place the midpoint behind the bend and then tie some cobra knots to close them up. Just take the right cord over the front, left cord goes over that one, behind the bend, and then out the crook on the right. Pull the knot tight and close it up. Then continue the process leading with the same cord over the front each time. I tied about six cobra knots. With that done, I'm just going to snip and melt my excess cords with my scissors, melt them with my lighter, and then press down on them with my knotter's tool. I'm not going to do that for the 550 strand this time though. So this first side is done, and now you can move over to the other side and repeat the same process to make the other clip. After both sides of the clips have been attached, now we can just clip on our lanyard to the mask. I find this lanyard works best when clipped to the bottom corner of the mask 
and that's the side facing downwards towards your body when the mask is on your face. And with all that done, we have our clip-on mask lanyard. Now, of course, you don't have to do the cobra knotted version for the clips. In this final example, I just tied the same scaffold knot, but this time I did three loops instead of two to make a slightly different knot. I also did this one fully blacked out so that it's a bit more subtle and doesn't stand out so much. So it's really up to you how you want to make this lanyard. I've used this a couple times now and I find it really convenient, especially when I get into my car and I want to take my mask off momentarily and I don't have to find a clean place to store it or put it for the time being. I live in a condo building so that trip from the parking garage to my actual unit requires that I wear a mask in the elevator and hallways. However, also for health professionals or simply those working in essential jobs and have to wear a mask all day, this is a great option for just keeping your mask at the ready and allows you to remove it briefly without having to find a place to put it. So there we have it weavers, a couple of simple ways to make a mask lanyard out of paracord. I know it's a new year, but we're still carrying over some remnants of the past, and let's just stay hopeful and know that things will be okay and back to normal eventually. Protect yourself by protecting each other. We can get through this by working together. And I'd like to thank you for your time and watching this video today. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials, as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.